Hey, what's up everybody? Cub fan here. And today we are playing some High Pixel. Uh, we're playing some High Pixel UHC Champions. Uh, if you don't know, this is the newest game on High Pixel. Um, it's basically uh, ultra hardcore game mode with some extra added stuff. I'm actually recording this afterwards because as you can tell there is um, yeah, some noise in the background so I didn't really do commentary as I was playing the first time. But yeah, we're just going to go through it sort of off the cuff afterwards and as I'm watching back this footage for the first time. So, uh, yeah, UHC Champions is the newest game on the Hypixel. It has basically uh, no natural regeneration of health. Uh, so you can only regenerate health through regeneration potions and or golden apples. Um, so th yeah, that's that's sort of different. And there's also some special custom recipes for High Pixel. Uh, some of you, some of you will see that uh, coming up shortly when we craft some iron up. And yeah, we're just doing the basics now. We're getting wood. Uh, here, I kill a chicken, I believe. Yeah, to get the feathers for arrows. Uh, we're playing with uh, two of my friends on the High Pixel server. Um, we're playing with X X X X X X zero five and Shock Bear. So we're just gonna gather some wood up here, and yeah, for those of you wondering, what's playing in the background is Men in Black 3. My brother was watching some some movies, so that's why I didn't really want to do any commentary. I was planning to put music over this, but what the heck, I might as well just do a commentary or something. So yeah, obviously UHC starts off pretty similar, no matter what you do. Uh, here I'm just giving Shock Bear some wood like he asked, and yes, indeed we need, we do need an apple. Uh, you'll you'll see that the game start off with 111 players, and as people People go down, player count goes down. You see there's 103 players in the game currently. Or 104, what the heck? Someone must have logged off and logged back on there. And yeah, 36 teams left. Uh, there is a sort of a grace period of 10 minutes when you start off. And then after that, uh, PvP is enabled, and yeah, you go at each other. I have to say, I have become addicted to this. This is a fantastic game mode. Um, yeah, it's a lot better than normal UHC. <laughs> we already found the enemy here. Apparently, or Shock Bear did, yeah. And yeah, basically, um, there's more incentive to go after people rather than just sit around and mine because you get uh, player heads whenever you kill somebody. And yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Anti Venom 24. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> As you can see, I'm like, what the heck is this? Yeah, Shock Bear is the same way. He's like, what the heck is this? Anyway. Uh, yeah, we also have a world border that shrinks, so you have to be aware of that. You have to be aware of where you're at, and you don't want to get caught by the world border because, yeah, basically you'll uh, you'll die if you get caught outside the world border. So we're just chopping down a bunch of trees at the moment, and I think here, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep chopping down trees for a little sec. Yeah, and I was totally transfixed for this guy. I'm like, what the heck is this? Is this a real person, or is this what is this? I had no idea what that is. I still really don't have any clue what that is. That's the first time I've seen that in the game. Looks like Shock Bear found some sugar cane here, so that's good. Uh, you can make books with that. Uh, you can also craft enchanted books in this, and yeah, you might see that here. I, I don't think we crafted any this time around. We just enchanted normally. But here I'm just looking around for, yeah, some sugar cane or other people. And let's see. Yeah, we got some sugar cane already, so we're good there. And yeah, we're just going to keep <laughs> chopping down more trees. Obviously, the start of UHC is not the most exciting thing. There's another chicken. Get that. There we go. Solid. And yeah. Men in Black, in black 3 still playing in the background, but yeah. What can you do? Uh, so yeah. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. We'll chop down a few more trees. I have five feathers, so he can make some arrows if he has some flint. And yeah, obviously zombies are around us somewhere. Just chop down those trees. And chop down this tree. And then I think we should probably start to go down. I think we do start digging soon. Start digging down. <laughs> Brother coughing in the background there. Should I come back now? Yeah, you can. 
And yeah, those compasses, in case you're wondering, those point toward your teammates. Uh, it gives you the direction of your teammates and also the distance to them if you right click on it. There we go, we got an apple. Nice. As I told my teammates there. Yep, sweet. Fantastic. Lava pool there, so we can go to the nether. There's another apple. Grab that. Nice. Two apples, that's good. Uh, you can also... Well, actually, if you if you purchase the rank, you can uh, uh, sort of craft up more apples from that if you have a bone. Uh, you use bone meal and an apple and make two apples, basically. That's another one of the custom recipes. So that's good. Uh, let's see what we get here. We get feathers. Yeah, that's right. Feathers and sugar cane. Nice. And some leather. Sweet. That's good news. Alright, looks like uh, Shock Bear is digging down, so... Yeah, I'm just going to check one more time here, make sure we got all the apples we can. Five minutes until PvP is enabled here. You can already see quite a few people have died already. It's down to 95 now. So people do die to the environment quite quickly in this. You do have to be careful because, you know, you can't dig straight down. Otherwise, you might fall into lava or fall into a ravine or something. And, of course, there's skeletons, creepers, zombies, just like normal Minecraft as well. So we're cutting down a few more trees, trying to get as many apples as we possibly can here. There we go. Fantastic. Alright. Trying to destroy a few leaves to make sure we get any apples that might have... might have spawned in, might have come to us, and... There goes my axe. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what else. Any more? Any apples in here? Just punching leaves now. The brush fire down there by the lava pool. Nice. And yeah, I think I'd start to dig down here now. After putting out the fire. What a nice guy. Putting out the fire in UHC. Very nice. Yeah, we drop down here. There's X. Alright. Sweet. Uh, let's see. It is a little dark here because we didn't really use too many torches. But hopefully you guys can see it. And yeah, <laughs> I'm breathing heavily. I get nervous in UHC quite a bit. Um, you guys might hear me, you know, making some offhand comment at some point. Uh, and yeah, have to use F3 quite a bit too because I want to know where I'm at. And yeah, where the world border is compared to that. Right now we're okay, it's a few hundred blocks away, so we're going to keep going down here and mine a little bit. Um, and yeah, I started off with some stone tools. That's uh, You can start off with different kits. So I started off with a stone tool kit because I think that gives you the best advantage to yeah jump into the game immediately. And you don't have to worry about you know getting wood tools and then going up from there. There are a bunch of other tools available, and this is a giant ravine. There's gold there on the left, nice. But yeah, there are other other kits available, like you can start off with a book and I think some XP bottles. You can start off with an apple and some food. Zombie, I'm gonna take care of him. There's a skeleton behind me as well. Shoot. Better get over to the side. Yep, okay, good thing I did there. I'm waiting for the skeleton to come around the corner, but yeah, that didn't happen. He just sort of camped me. <laughs> Got camped by the skeleton. Yep. <laughs> X here's a skelly, indeed. Indeed, and yeah, the skeleton was jumping, which I didn't recognize immediately, so that cost me a couple of, uh, of hearts here. So I just decided to make a wooden dam here. Just said, screw it. You know, just put up the whole thing there, and yeah, we're worry about the skeleton later. So I'll get a couple of blocks of iron here, just like that. Very nice. Very nice, and I'm checking to see if we have 10 iron, because if you have 10 iron and a piece of coal, you can craft up uh, iron ingots. And yeah, I'm just telling them we found some more gold. And make a crafting table so we can craft up some stuff. And that's what Shock saw, so he was he's in the same ravine as I am, basically. Same area. Just above me. So I'll get some wood here. Get a bunch of sticks. There we are. Very nice, and yeah, I decided to go ahead and craft up some iron. Again, this is a uh, custom recipe that Hypixel adds to UHC, and so I went ahead and just crafted up an iron pick. Uh, that way we can get this gold. 
Because a golden UHC is very critical. I uh, need that for, you know, golden apples and stuff. So, yeah. Went ahead and yeah, got some of that. There we go. Okay. And, yeah. That uh, ticking you, s you hear is the world... Oh, no, not the world order. That's the uh, PvP timer countdown. And we got we got pretty fortunate here with eight gold. So now PvP is enabled. And you'll see a bunch of people will go down pretty much immediately here. And yeah, we got 13 gold. Nice. I'm just checking where the world border's at. Gonna have to move quickly. So I'm just digging into the wall. I don't know. What the heck am I even doing here? I don't even know. <laughs> just digging for... Oh yeah, I'm digging for a uh, furnace, I think. Yeah. So Shock, Shock found some gold as well, and he got an Ender Pearl, which is great. Ender Pearls are pretty rare in UHC. Just gonna jaunt down here a little ways, get some iron. Gotta be careful not to take fall damage here. Nice. Gotta be aware of that lava above me too. And yeah, people are falling left and right now. People are really going down quickly. And Shock took a little bit of damage there from a creeper, I presume. But you just gotta keep going, that's what happens in UHC. It's pretty unpredictable, I have to say. And yeah. We got some more iron up here. And right here. Very nice. Checking to see how much I got. And we got more than 10. We got 21, actually. So yeah, we can craft up some more iron. I really like that they add this in to the game, because it saves you time. You don't have to smelt it all up. Um, it is one hour that you get until uh, the death match, so yeah, they give you a pretty adequate amount of time to gear up and also battle a little bit in most cases. So we're just going to craft up some iron armor here. There we go, got a full set, and yeah, shift click that baby on there. Very nice. Then of course, since it's UHC, you need a sword as well, so we'll equip ourselves with a sword. Sweet. So yeah, 12 minutes in, we got full iron and yeah, iron sword and iron pick. So, doing pretty good so far. I'm uh, just crafting up a couple furnaces here so we can smelt up this gold. And we'll just plop those babies down there. Put some, uh, put some coal in there. I try to uh, reduce the amount of coal I use, so I just put in just a minimum amount. Uh, so yeah, that's why I only put a couple pieces of coal in there. Uh, one piece of coal can smelt eight ingots, so... That's what I do, and yeah, another deep breath. I'm nervous, shaking like a leaf. Not really, but yeah. It is a little tense at, at times. Um, yeah, Shock lost a little bit of health, but that's fine. It happens. Just gotta deal with it. Uh, yeah. So we'll just get a couple more blocks of iron here. Uh, you can, you know, make anvils and enchanting tables, but... We need a lot more iron for that, and we need some diamonds for the enchanting table if we're going to do that. So, there's a lot of there. Let's not go that way. I'm just checking to see what other people are at. Get some coal. XP is pretty useful, so you want to mine as much as you can. Uh, even, like, redstone and lapis and stuff like that. And, yeah. Get some more iron. A lot of mining in the first part of this, but not too bad. And here, Will Smith in the background. Agent K Agent J, actually. And yeah, we'll craft up an, a golden apple here. So that's our first golden apple right there. <laughs> I'm just making sure I <laughs> got that recipe right. Uh, let's see. Got one golden apple. Shock said he can craft nether wart, so yeah. That's good if we want to go to the nether. And yeah, just getting some more coal, mostly for the XP. Because uh, you don't really need that much coal, but you need the XP definitely. XP is pretty vital. You can craft XP in this using redstone and I think it's um, empty glass bottles. But you need a lot of redstone to do so. So there are a couple of... Uh, 
custom crafting recipes, which I think really enhance it and yeah, make it a lot more fun. Uh, as I said, you d once you do kill people, you do get uh, heads that you can uh, use for regeneration as well, so that sort of encourages more PvP action. And yeah, I've just been addicted to this game, so yeah, this is this is probably my, uh, I think this is like my fifth game, maybe? Fifth or sixth game total in the UHC Champions. But yeah, already I can see it's definitely going to be one of my favorites. So we're just going to get a couple more pieces of iron. You can do a slash shout to the entire... Uh, entire global chat, uh, but usually you're restricted to, um, yeah, you're restricted to your teammates, uh, talking to your teammates by default, and it's kind of useful, it's kind of a unique mechanic, I really like it, it's very nice, so I'll head back down here, X is smelting up some stuff, looks like he's, he's gearing up, I hear, yep, there we go, okay, I thought that was somebody else for a moment there, so I shifted, Thought somebody else might have been, have found us and, yeah, was digging toward us. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, I'm just putting some more stuff into the furnaces. Uh, Shock asked how to craft nether wart. Uh, it's fermented spider eye, plus nether rack, plus soul sand. Sold sand. <laughs> There's soul sand. And nether rack, right? Yeah, nether rack. Sweet. And yeah, that's another custom re recipe for this UHC type. Um, makes it a little bit easier to get nether wart, so you can still craft it. Um, it's tough to craft, but you can still craft if somebody takes it all from the, uh, the nether fortress in the nether. So that's good. Um, yeah, just craft up a whole bunch of paper. Um, you can make... Oh, I do make a book. Okay. Yeah, you can craft up Protection 1 books. Uh, just like that, so... Yeah three pieces of paper and um, yeah, an iron ingot, so that's pretty cool. Uh, can craft two more, going to make an anvil. And then Shot comes in and <laughs> says, no, let me have iron, because he can make um, a cheaper version of the anvil, I think, yeah. So there are some different crafting recipes that uh, if you reach certain levels, you can, you can, uh, yeah, save yourself some resources and some time. So I'm going to give him the iron here. And he's going to craft up the anvil a little bit cheaper than we could. You know, with a traditional three blocks of iron. I think he can do it with just one block and six ingots, I think. Might be wrong on that, but he can do it a lot cheaper than we can. And we'll go ahead and, yeah, put this protection one enchant on our chest plate here. There we are. Very nice. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and get some more iron, if there is any. Yep, there they are. We'll go ahead and just craft up some more protection books. There we go, protection one, and... And? <laughs> yeah, you have to get the crafting recipe exactly right. There we go, protection one. Sweet. Okay. And yeah, you, you see we can only craft up three of those Protection 1 books per game. And I dropped it on the floor like an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Got it back. Put the pants in there. Protection 1 on the pants. Sweet. There we go. Shift click that on. And then on the helmet. Put that on there. Protection 1. There we are. Very nice. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so Shock says us for us to take the golden apple... I don't deserve it. <laughs> Although he should probably eat it because he's the lowest on, in health. Uh, let's see here. One gold for second apple. Okay. Nice. Got some food in there. Put some in there. Shock just gave me another gold. So we can smelt that baby up. Make a second apple. Second golden apple. Nice. At this point, I think we're doing pretty good. We all have full iron. Uh, we're only 20 minutes in. Not even 20 minutes in. Now we should start looking for diamonds. So we're going to dig down here a little ways. Feathers. Uh, I got some feathers. Indeed. 13 feathers. <laughs> 
Shock, shock face. <laughs> it's funny. Shock has a bow, so he needs the feathers. He's going to use those to craft up some arrows. Arrow recipe is the same as it always has been in, in regular Minecraft. And, yeah, there's the gold. So we'll switch them out. He'll get the feathers. There you go, Shock. And then we'll get the gold. And, yeah, we'll craft craft up another, another golden apple. Very nice. I like it. Shock here. All right, toss him the golden apple. And I think he ate that. He might not have eaten it immediately, but yeah, I think he did eat it eventually to regen a little bit of health. Uh, let's see, I, so we have paper if we need. Yeah, I'd like to craft a book for the enchantment table if we need that. And voila, more gold. Hey-oh. <laughs> Sweet. 